He made the world dance to his music. I love him. I know that you love his music. I never knew that a day like today lay before her. Even the Beatles performed one of his songs. I've got the sun in my heart and my heart's in the sun. He went to jail for his political beliefs. El porcentaje de artistas revolucionarios es mucho mayor que el de políticos. Την αγάπη για την πατρίδα και την αγάπη για την ελευθερία, εγώ την, η μέσα μου ήταν ισότιμη με την αγάπη μου για τη μουσική. He became a politician who sat on both sides of the parliament. Είμαστε μια μικρή χώρα και είναι πολύ τέλεια να είμαστε διασπασμένοι. He was an idealist who opposed the NATO bombing of Serbia and the war in Iraq. He was a Nobel Peace Prize candidate. Θα μου δίνανε εμένα ποτέ το βραβείο Νόμπελ, έτσι, έναν άνθρωπο σαν και εμένα που πήρε τα όπλα. This is Mikis Theorakis. July 1974 was unforgettable for Greece. A dictatorship had just fallen. For the first time in seven years, the way was open again in Greece to parliamentary democracy. And every Greek knew that there was only one man who could deliver it to them. This was Constantine Karamanlis. In self-exile for 11 years, at 67 years of age, Karaman Lis was called on to do the near impossible. He knew up to which point to go. Ελληνίδες, Έλληνες, αναλαμβάνω την ευθύνη της διακυβερνήσεως της χώρας. Within a few short years, he had built up a strong democracy in Greece and led the country into the then European community. He was a single-minded man fully dedicated in governing. Karaman Lis was no ordinary man or ordinary politician. His sense of duty, his instinctual knowledge of the ingredients of greatness were unique. Modern Greece today is largely what he made it. O Konstantinos Karaman Lis είναι σαν να πήρε την Ελλάδα από εκεί που βρισκόταν και να την τοποθέτησε στον 20ο αιώνα Karaman Lis knew his Greeks well. On one famous occasion, he said that, in Greece, it's not enough to wind your clock. You have to push the hands of the clock along with your fingers. Karaman Lis spent a 60-year political career trying to push the hands of the Greek clock forward to transform the country into a modern European state. April 1967. A group of colonels seized power, arresting citizens and politicians. Among them, a man who was an economics professor at Harvard University. The sergeant put the Tommy gun to my, to my uh, throat and he said, uh, I'll kill you if you don't tell us where your father is. A political activist. The regime will crack up. The man who became Greece's first ever socialist prime minister. 
am very moved tonight by the tremendous popular support of the program of change that PASOK has promised to the Greek people. One who's considered as a left-leaning demagogue and praised as a savior of people's rights. That was Andreas Papadreou. Andreas Papandreou was loved and despised in about equal measure. Playing a role in the Balkans, playing a role in the Middle East, uh, playing a role in world politics, even though a small country. But in his 31-year political career, he mesmerized a good portion of the Greek nation like few other individuals. <laughs> He had uh, almost uh, a mystic relationship uh, with the people. Um, he was a great orator but that he spoke to the people and the people believed that Andreas Papandreou was a, a man who would take care of their problems. Andreas Papandreou had huge amounts of personal charisma and was notoriously attractive to women. He went through three marriages and several sticky scandals without it eroding his mystique. He did like women, of course, but that included me. Alone. Striking. Captivating. Bewitching. Melina, Melina. The gifted actress, the uncompromising politician, the passionate woman. It brings happiness, it's the joy of understanding. I think, therefore I am, Decker. Melina Mercury. A phenomenon of communication a phenomenon of charm, and a phenomenon of presence. In the eyes of those who knew her personally, Melina Mercuri was spirited, restless and stubborn. Wow. W-O-W. -W. I was very struck by her. She had the ability to accomplish anything she set her mind to. Η Μελίνα ονειρευόταν και εκείνο που κράτησε όλη τη ζωή είναι η ματιά της προς το όραμα και η συνεχής ματιά της προς τη λεπτομέρεια της κίνησης της εδώ και τώρα που πρέπει να γίνει προς το όνειρο. Πρέπει να δίνεις ολοκληρωτικά στον έρωτα, στο θέατρο και στην πολιτική. London, 1940. A Greek Cypriot law student takes up a job as a BBC announcer. His broadcasts give heart to his listeners as the German bombs rain in London. At 21 years of age, he becomes Britain's youngest practicing lawyer. 
but he already has found the media world more alluring. Being a person who has a global understanding of the beauty of art and culture. You feel that he has a, an, an innate sense of, um, of the human psyche. Έβγαλε την Ελλάδα έξω από τα όρια τα ελληνικά και γύρισε σε όλο τον κόσμο με υπέροχε ταινίε. 20 years later, he finds himself at the top of the Hollywood League after directing Zorba the Greek. He dreamt that I would become a director, uh, internationally known director, and that my films would be going around the world and being seen by literally billions of people. This is Michael Kakoyanis. As you set out for Ithaca, hope that your journey is a long one, full of adventure, full of discovery, Lice Dragonians and Cyclops, angry Poseidon, do not be afraid of them. He is one of the greatest Greek poets, ancient and modern. He's not only one of the most important poets of the rejuvenated modern Greek tradition, which is clearly so, but to my mind, he's one of the major poets internationally of the last century. It is a poetry that defines itself as poetic, defines the language it uses as poetic, defines the viewpoint it uses as the viewpoint that you, the reader, should look for and start engaging with. One who challenged established ideas of religion, patriotism and sexual relations. Ακουμπά τα υπαρξιακά επίμονα, υπαρξιακά προβλήματα των ανά τον κόσμο σκεφτόμενων ανθρώπων. Un poema de Gaufis muchas veces hay que verlo en un escenario, un escenario pequeño de una habitación eh, con unas luces a una hora determinada del día y con una atmósfera de personas. One who handed a verse to his publisher with the words, Here, take it, it's burning my fingers. He really thought that bringing out a volume and letting the publisher fleece him uh, in bringing out a volume would, would do less for his reputation than the drip, drip, drip of a poem here, a poem there, becoming a sought-after quantity, a bit of a rarity, he might say. This is C.P. Cavafi. 